What's going on, fellow fish tank fanatics? As you can tell, my Toxitoad Splifey have colored up very nicely. Uh, my Pelvic Acromus Rubra Labiatus are doing very, very well. They're out of their stress colors. Um, still a lot needs to change in this tank, but just adding that one Anubius plant in the back has greatly improved the, uh, the coloration of these fish. But this is a different type of video. This video is actually going to be on my Toxitoad Splifey, the Clouded Archer, Zebra Archers, whatever you want to call them. Um, now these are the pure freshwater form of archer fish. So these do not need brackish water at all. I do keep a brackish water archer and I have kept brackish water archers for a very long time, eight years as a matter of fact. I really, archer fish are probably one of my favorite fish right there with scats. Preferably African scats, but green scats are a close, close second on the scat list. Now, these guys are wild caught. As you all know, wild caught fish sometimes can be very, very, very finicky to feed. And I'm going to bring to you all how I have got my archer fish to eat pellet food in a matter of four weeks. So, let's get started. First and foremost, their natural food in, from their habitat, from their wild location, would be flies, mosquitoes, um, crickets, insects, things like that, that they are able to shoot off the lower branches of the mangrove, well, I guess, tree roots, plants, that sort of thing. So, when I first get them in, the first thing I like to do, since these guys were small, their first food was small crickets, which, we're gonna come over here now. So crickets, nothing crazy. These are medium sized now, medium to large. Um, they've grown, they can take these guys now in four weeks. Now, feeding crickets, you, you really need to gut load the crickets. What I tend to do is, um, Everything I feed to the crickets, I want the archer fish to eat. So you can buy special food with high calcium, things like that for the crickets, but I tend to use flake food. Now the reason I use flake food, which this is not, I normally would use omega-1 um, cichlid flakes. They did not have cichlid flakes, but they did have um, super color flakes. So I use this, this is what I feed them. Now the only reason I feed them this is because those crickets that they're eating will then have this in their stomach so they're able to get a taste of what the pellet food will taste like. So just normal flake food, literally normal fish flake food is what I'm feeding my crickets. Now, this is their water. Their water is just the gut load cricket by Zilla. Nothing crazy. Now this is, you put water in here and it kind of swells up. The crickets can't drown in it. Basic things. Um, but instead of using water, I am out. I Actually, this is the last of it. But I use Vitakim. It is the um, supplement vitamin for freshwater fish. Um, you can get it for a saltwater formulation too. This was for freshwater. Um, so that's what's in there. Now the reason I do that, because my crickets drink it, I then give it to my archer fish. So everything I'm giving to the crickets <clears throat> my archer fish get. Now, the reason why that's important is because with these archer fish being wild caught, they're not used to those, those, those flavors or anything. So I give them vitamins to help bring out their colors, relax them, calm them down, get them nice and healthy. Um, and then I give them the flake food, which is the same formula normally as the pellets that I give them. And with that being said, they now take pellet food like it was nothing. And I will prove that. Now I've only had these guys, like I said, four weeks. If I can get this to sit still, I might not be able to. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to. I hear you, sweetie. All right, well, it's not going to stay. Let me see if I can tape you all to. All right, so you all can see the tank. Now, I am going to be feeding them pellet food. Like I said, this would be the normal pellet food. 
Uh, this also has the pelvic chromis eating it. But you literally just put it in there. And you can see the archers eating. Hopefully you all can see that. Um, but like I said, four weeks, they're eating your regular standard pellet food. Um, this is super exciting for me. And this is just what I have done. Like I said, I start them off on live food, so they solely crickets. Um, you can do fruit flies, things like that, but I don't tend to like to bring those critters into the house. Crickets are something that are easy and easy for me to maintain. Yes, they're more expensive. They don't breed as readily. All that great stuff. But it works the best for my situation is crickets. Um, and it's the best I find for the archers. I use Vitachem in their water, so that way they're getting gut loaded with a ton of vitamins. And I am feeding them flake food, which is the same formula as their cichlid um, pellets that they would normally get. Four weeks. They're eating, they're fat, they're happy. They are also eating brine shrimp. Um, they don't care that much for blood worms, but they do love their shrimp, so. My helper's getting fussy. But either way, guys, just showing you all, that's how I take care of my, my archers. Um, if you're feeding, feeding live foods to your fish, I, I personally do not enjoy feeding live foods. Um, I don't like feeder fish, I don't like any of that. But in this case, this is what they eat in the wild, um, and I have to slowly transition them from that. So, there you go, guys. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. That's what I do. Because they are my babies. I, I love these fish. This is a fish that's on my, one of the, oh my goodness. Somebody's teeth are hurting her. Alright guys, hope you all like it. If it helps you out, let me know.